Hello friends, welcome back to electromagnetic field theory. Now we are on the last topic from the chapter number three that is divergence and divergence theorem. Now the divergence we came across in the first chapter for vector analysis also. The divergence that time we have seen with the help of a vector spatial differential operator called as del operator. Del operator basically a vector. So it was represented in spherical, cylindrical and rectangular coordinate system also. Now this vector operator had three different operations that was gradient. So vector with a scalar giving resultant vector we called gradient the physical interpretation and some example of the gradient we have seen discussed as like for the divergence also we have discussed example so vector operator del operating over another vector giving the output as scalar was the divergence and similarly the curl was also discussed vector operated with the del operator to give vector as the output the example was also discussed. Now here the concept of divergence we find in electrostatic. What exactly that one is? So let us see. Now the first point in this chapter for this particular topic I will like to say what is exactly divergence in electric field now electric field we say it is some region surrounded to the charge if the charge is present whether it is of positive polarity or negative polarity the surrounding is influenced some another charge somehow gets into that particular region will be definitely affected with the force of either attraction or repulsion so this is electric field. Now what is divergence? In the first chapter we have seen the example of balloon. If we add certain more air to the balloon, the volume of the balloon or size of the balloon gets increases. We call that to be the positive divergence. If we allow some air to go out of the balloon to reduce into the size, we call that negative divergence and along with we had represented it with mathematical operator del bar so we had represented del bar dot of a bar for the vector a and the outcome was a scalar now what is exactly divergence in electric field divergence is actually increase into the volume or decrease into the volume for electric field the source we consider to be a charge the charge if it is positive polarity charge so that time as discussed for electric flux density and the Gauss's law for positive charge always and always there are the electric flux lines generated and that are always going outward in search of any negative charge to end upon. So as these electric flux lines emerge out from the positive charge this is nothing but the expansion in some terms. So this I call is nothing but the divergence in electric field whereas if we have any negative polarity charge the electric flux lines that are coming from outside generated at some another positive charge will terminate onto this negative charge so this is supposed to be the negative divergence so these are the two examples of divergence in electric field now according to the Gauss's law According to the Gauss's law in integral form, we have the representation closed surface integral d bar dot of ds bar is equal to volume integral rho v dv. So here on left hand side we have closed surface integral, it is double integral, d bar is the electric flux density, so electric flux density dot product with the differential surface. On the right hand side we have volume integral that is triple integral of rho v dv. Rho v is the volume charge density. So this is the integral form representation. Now in point form which is also called differential form we had the relation divergence of d represented by del bar dot of d bar was found to be equal to rho v. 
Now this is the representation of divergence of d bar. D bar is electric flux density. Now the using both the relations, let us have substitution of rho v in right hand side of the integral form by divergence of d from the point form. So the equation becomes closed surface integral of d bar dot of ds bar is equal to volume integral in bracket i write divergence of d bar dv. This was the integral form. This was the point form of the Gauss's law. Using the substitution for rho v, we have come to this form of equation. Now, if we focus on to the left hand side and right hand side, we come to know that on left hand side, we have closed surface integral, whereas on right hand side, we have volume integral. Three dimensions are involved here. Here, two dimensions are involved. Now, the vector operand here is the same d bar on left hand side as well as on the right hand side. So, when the same vector representation we have with the help of closed surface integral and volume integral with the divergence representation, this is called as divergence theorem. Divergence theorem. Now, this is the divergence represented for electric flux density. Now, for the divergence theorem, the statement can be given like this. The integration of the integration of normal component of a vector field electric flux density over a closed surface is equal to the integration of the divergence of the same vector field that is electric flux density throughout the volume enclosed by the closed surface. So this is divergence theorem. Divergence theorem is applicable to the electric flux produced because of the charges into the three dimensional space. So this divergence theorem gives very much handy tool to switch from surface integral to volume integral. Based on to the divergence theorem relation, there are so many problems that are being generally asked into the examination for electromagnetic field theory with quite good score. So let us solve few numericals based on to this concept in next videos. Thank you.